under the traffic lights day after summer tourney. I guess this would be a, a recap, right? Yep. Recap, review. Yeah. How you feeling, champ? I'm tired. Man, I look like shit. <laughs> Even worse than usual. Uh-uh. Yeah, I feel like I got ran over by a truck and they put in reverse and hit me again. <sighs> good times. Very good times. Now we get to rest for a week. I guess let's just get right into these recaps. Maybe uh, we'll give a few people a call, see if they answer. I hope they're still get up. Get their perspective. It's fucking nine o'clock. What the hell? We're our old. Bedtime. We're old. <laughs> okay. These people that win championships are like in their 20s. It's very true. Except for D1 deckheads. They got some oldies. They're closer to our age. Some yep. of them. Yeah. They won Saturday night 6-4 over the Southwest Cowboys. Yep, keeping the money local. What do you think they'll do with that money to tip the employees? Nope. What'd you see in that game? That game was... Boring as hell. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not boring as hell, yeah, but I... Alexis was bugging me that game, and I had to go get her and uh... take her back, and... I just didn't yeah. feel like it was in doubt, especially once that goaltender went down yet again for yeah. Southwest Cowboys, even though that backup that. played college ice hockey is my understanding. I just, yeah. As goalie or out? As goalie, yeah. Wow. Yeah, hmm. Chad Asseltine was the backup. So, I, decades were loaded, just like I told you guys in that D5 preview with Lee. I said, decades are going to win it all, and Lee just didn't, wouldn't listen to me. Yeah, that's what he gets. He kept saying Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. I'm like, no. <laughs> I think he just wanted the Cowboys to win that bad. Uh, well, Lee, Lee Seidel. Seidel. Seidel should learn a lesson. Yes. Stick with your home team. Maybe he was trying to fire the boys up, but he's not picking them up. So Maybe. I don't know. Well done. Branzik uh, stepped in and looked great on defense. You know, Savionic there. Mm hmm He's really uh, getting the deck figured out. I see Nick Levesque had a hattie. So I love the Saturday night atmosphere. I hope they keep it that way. I know the games are way behind yeah. that night as usual, but. It is cool though, like in the dark and yeah, just, everybody's kind of tired, but still excited. Yeah, it gives you something to look forward to that night and mm -hmm. it amps you up, so. Congrats to the deckheads yet again, eh? Good job, boys. Got, you wanna beat them, get better, I guess. So. Yeah. Uh, move on to D2. District selects 5-4, the Glencoe Bazookas. I gotta be honest, I probably saw like five minutes of D2 action all the turn. <laughs> Just the five minutes that you I'm were scorekeeping? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, her I'm a hermit in the tent this year. I don't know why I didn't want to leave the tent. But, yeah. Uh, Will Clark from District Selects was uh, had two goals and was the first star of the game. We did watch a little of the Bazookas uh, earlier matchup, though. Yeah, so um, that, PJ and yeah, and that went down to the wire, I think, in the semis. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they were they were playing off. crazy in yeah, that game. That was a saw. crazy game. That going over time, I want to say it did, but yeah, One of them that we watched. It. That's cool that yeah they came all the way down here from DC. So yeah. you think they get to visit the White House now that they won the Classy Deck Tourney? Like some of them probably like work there if they live in <laughs> DC. <laughs> Work at the White House? Or the White House, uh, like the Pentagon or something. Well, maybe, maybe they'll get invited does. to the White House. My cousin does. Joe Biden, if you're listening, invite the district selects <laughs> to the White House. I lead out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. I want to talk juniors. You know why? Why do we never do a juniors preview? Because that shit's lit. I know. Maybe because we don't know the kids. We got to bring the kids in, man. Yeah. That was... Or do like a junior traffic light show or something yeah. <laughs> have like alexis run it <laughs> <laughs> those games were lit though team yoli 5-4 the chicago lightning henry cooley that's a familiar last name right mm -hmm. with one goal and one assist to lead team yoli we watched yoli in the semis against young americans that game was awesome it was very awesome yeah i'm a huge fan of Braden hunt mm -hmm. i always was before now that i got to see him in person a couple times holy cow what a goalie he's good 
He's a stud. And the young yeah. Americans, they almost came to pulling it out there in the semis. I know there's a little yeah. controversy of going in, didn't go in. In my perspective, yeah, he did go did. in. But I'm telling you, as a ref and a scorekeeper, sometimes you get screened and you can't see some of that stuff, even though, you know, some of us on the outside can. It's, right. it's tough. Yeah. It really is tough if you're not 100% sure. I was about ninety nine point nine percent sure. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah. I was too, but I can see it from their perspective. So, so young tough. Americans, if you're watching, like literally nothing to feel bad about after that. Game. No, those, that was amazing. Those yeah. kids were uh, pretty down. Mm -hmm. They uh, were. Yeah, I've seen. There were tears. Mm. Yeah, that's. Yeah. yeah, that's. I realized I still may have a little soul left because I felt bad. I had to walk away because I actually saw real emotion. I know. <laughs> So, like. <laughs> so, congrats! Enjoy your medals, yeah. Team Goalie. Good job, boys. So Pittsburgh doesn't even bring a team anymore. It looks like, huh? Yeah, They're that's kind of weird. Snacking the other kids around. Oh, Oop. hey, old man, turn your <laughs> ringer off. All right. Just, <laughs> did that earlier. Too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh goodness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah, I did a couple junior games. I think for scorekeeping, yeah, mm -hmm. they were all awesome. The skill level is incredible. Yeah, they could hang in some because the doll league's no problem at all. Probably I think wipe the floor with them. D one is gonna get a lot bigger when those kids start coming in and growing up. Yeah. 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 I gotta get out before they get in. Yeah. D three, the Top Guns nine to four over the Snipers of Chicago. Hmm. Uh, I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, Lord. I did find out from my inside sources Top Guns is actually from New Jersey. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. And there was a lot of talk that they pretty much wiped the floor with every D3 team, so they might move up to D2. It sounded like yeah. some of our fans were giving them the business. Oh. But they didn't get, if they didn't get ranked properly, that's not on them. Right. They came and played their game and did what, you know. But if Nick uses the same ranking system for everybody, they should have been more, you know. Well, if you don't know these level. people, you're doing the best you can. Now next year That's they'll true. be in D2 and they'll go from there, mm -hmm. you know. Very true. Some are fan base. I don't know. Now That's I wish I would have seen them. Hockey teams, ice hockey teams. What? Now I wish I would have seen them play. I didn't know that they were that. Yeah, evidently they 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 laid the smack down in all D three. So mm, I like their team name. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. They had cool shirts. So hey, Hashtag they came from Jersey. Jersey. All way to come here play with us. Give them a break. Yeah, that's very cool. Is that the same people that were like Garden State last? No time. No. Because the hey, Garden State. Hey, don't ask me okay. questions because I said the only thing I knew is that they're from Jersey, and I had to have someone tell me that. So oh. don't ask me like I know <laughs> anything about this goddamn team because I don't. Oh, okay, sorry. Let's get to our people. They brought home a thousand bucks in D four. It was anarchy five to two over the Yetis, and we actually did watch this game on the TV because I was tired of being there. We were tired and needed the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm a whiny little bitch. Sad times. I better apologize for being a psycho over these last five days. You know how many people you. commented to me, I've never seen Mark act like that deck before. <laughs> I was like, oh, once in a while when he gets frustrated. <laughs> so, I'm There were F-bombs, there was stick smashing, there was, yeah. He even shoved a couple people. I, okay. Well, I don't remember any of that. I think you even showed a kid. <laughs> they gotta grow up one of these days. Oh, man. But anyways, holy cow, man. Anarchy. I guess there's a rematch from last the previous year, but Yeti's won the previous year. And now oh, Anarchy, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Anarchy took it this year. Mark Corey and Gold, just an animal. He's good. Isn't he like our age? Or older? I don't the know. Dad? I don't know. Yeah. What's age got to do with it? What's age got to do with it? <laughs> got to do with it. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mark Corey, first star, 32, yeah. 34. Uh, I, I I was impressed by their hustle line that stayed on their first line of Larson and um, Wyatt. Yeah. And 
I think straw. They were like glue. Uh, yeah, like Logan Anderson, Tron, Esco, they all like hustled their asses off and that freed up the other guys to do their thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did a really good job. They played as a team. I thought mm -hmm. just phenomenal all the way around and they were I, the, for the Facebook feed was on their side so you could hear a lot of what they're saying they were all supporting each other not putting each other down so yeah you know, that was great you know, so yeah a lot of encouragement and... yeah and props to the Yetis too I mean that Keith Caden he's the real deal for Chicago yeah he was phenomenal I played him a couple of times just just awesome you know and having a stroll back there playing 2d you're having uh quality defense on both lines there with the yetis and td of course killed it in that yes. both d4 and d5 yes taylor did he an awesome should, job he should uh keep his head high for sure mm -hmm. so again he's one of those yeah. even though you lost absolutely nothing to feel bad about i say we call ryan gomez up no oh, no me don't it's, make up the beep oh shit he does have a baby huh <laughs> <laughs> See if anybody answers, so let's get some interviews here, huh? Yeah, messenger. There you go. Uh huh. Then go me. Uh huh. I just, you know, all right. Okay. Let's see if he'll probably big time us. He's probably at the strip club. Oh. Doubt that. We're calling. Is Ryan there Gomez. Sound I don't know. He probably thinks I'm butt dialing him. Probably. Go me answer. You're live. He's not live. I'm live. Not live. Not live. Is Ryan Gomez going big time? Is he's a teammate of mine. Hmm. I guess Ryan Gomez has better things to do. Fine. Here, I'd be like trying to call you for the. Huh? No, you no, no, no. I'm just trying to see people answer out of the oh. blue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's call. Let's call Esco then. He he's actually played on both teams. He's a Yeti in D6. I keep I, forgetting that Yetis have a D6 team. Yeah. You should play D6. It's awesome. It's a throw a minute there. I should? Uh-huh. Yeah. I get headaches just watching D6 play because they're just like... Yeah, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. It's Nobody's really calling. No one's answering me. They all think I'm butt dialing them. Well, this is riveting. Let it go for a minute. I don't Let know. Let it go for a minute, huh? Not. At least another 24 hours. <laughs> Anarchy must be having a team party. Maybe. Okay, fine. I'm done with both of you. Esco. <laughs> Aaron's the better one anyways. No, Ooh. I don't. <laughs> but how about Ryan Gomez, man? That guy's a winner. So. Yeah. That's kind of a funny answer. Maybe they'll call back. They'll probably think I'm butt dialing or you'll you get a message like, yeah, did you really mean to call yeah. me? <laughs> you could have been live on the most famous, the second most famous podcast going right now in the Quad Cities. Way to go, boys. Your loss. <sighs> you know, you win it, you go to Disney, and you get to be on none of the traffic lights. But... <laughs> All right, let's get to D5. Yes, sir. The Mighty Dex 3-1 to one over the Nordiques of QC. Tiern and Reed had 23 saves on 24 shots. That was pretty good. I thought D5 was wide open. To be honest, I thought there mm -hmm. was about seven, eight teams that actually could win it oh, yeah. once playoffs started. Uh, Devils looked great. Jason Bowling was rolling. And on that team, Night Shades was getting right back to there again. And semis, they looked uh, great after beating Pierce Savage. And Pierce Savage, I thought, was the best team we played, personally. Mm -hmm. With that line of Heilman and uh, Josh Fordyce and A.J. Willie, that line was yeah. just killer. That was. Very and Johnny, good. Johnny was playing lights out on goal, so. I mean, he's the size of the goal. So yeah, he is. Yeah. That helps. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, Mighty Dex, man, that TJ Finch, Peyton Bazzari, Zach Tucker win again. He was Zach Tucker won winner turning with the Devils. So Oh Lord. Uh, it's cool to see there's some new faces in there and win. Yeah. And props to the Nordiques too. I know they had kind of an easy road for a while in that tourney. They played a couple teams that maybe weren't competitive at times, but 
they deserve just as much to be there. Nate Whelan is just killing it. Go on, I give. I, I have not given Nate Whelan enough props mm -hmm. this year at all. Yeah, he's yeah. so pretty. Nice a lot. Yeah, good. Stavers are playing well. There was like four or five of them on that team. So, you know, should we try one last guess? See Peyton. Peyton sure. answers. He's a youngster. He should. He's a youngster. <laughs> Ain't isn't he? <laughs> This is terrible. Fill in while I'm calling these people if you need to. I'm not good at filling. Oh, we're not good at this at all. Peyton Bizarre, are you alive? Am I even able to call him what's going on here? Oh, wait. No, here. You gotta... <laughs> How are you? Because he in like right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Peyton Bizarre. Look at that, he looks so well dressed. If you ever need a sub, he's your man. Hey man, how are you? Oh, oh hey, hold on a second. Okay, I can hear you better. Hey man, hey man, we're doing our show. We're just calling a couple of people. Yeah, yeah, you're the first one to answer me, so that's your fault. <laughs> hey man, congrats on the championship last night. Yeah, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. It yeah. was a, it was a blast, man. I felt like uh, I was playing like high school sports again. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, three one over the Nordiques in the championship. I guess tell me about the championship game and how it went. Yeah, so they came out, man. They were uh, they came out. And they were so fast. Um, yeah, we just I, you know, we, we we got a couple bounces. Um, you know that that one. I think it was deflected off either one of our guys, or one of their guys. The first goal. Um, you know, second goal, Finch made a great move. Um, and us, you know, putting us up 2 1. And the third one, um, the one on the power play was deflected also. So, I mean, great. That, that game could went either way. It was just, you know, you know how it is. It's just, it bounces, you know, it bounces from our way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What a, what a long day, right? It didn't get over to what, 10 30, 11? Or? Oh, my Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I was almost falling asleep for that. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this was, was this your first summer tourney for you personally? Yeah, yeah. So it was for, for a lot of our guys, actually. Oh, okay. Um, I, I think Tucker, Tucker, I don't know if Noah Seagrin played and played last year. Yeah, I don't um, think he did. Yeah, so um, I, I, I don't think Trent did either. So um, other than Zach Tucker, I think it was it was all of our, 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 first, our first summer tournament. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, man. It's always oh, cool to see new faces, man. You guys just took it over, man. It played really well off the whole tourney. I, I kind of felt like there was like seven or eight teams after the before the start playoffs that could have probably won D5. It was pretty wide open, I thought. I don't know what your thoughts were. Oh, it was 100% wide open. Um, And that was the thing in pool play. You know, after we played, we played Anarchy, and that game was just, you know, the first pool play game we played them. Um, and that game could have went, you know, either way, 100%. Um, it, it was a dog fight. Um, you know, the Devils, both games, um, both games for Anarchy, too. I mean, they, they, were, they, were, they were dog fights. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's the thing. I mean, a tournament like that where, you know, you play three pool play games and then, you know, you, you play four games and you play against teams like like them, you know, uh, the Nordiques, anybody like that, you know, it's just you have to have some luck on your side. Oh, um, yeah. you know, bounces go your way. It's just, you know, it's hockey. So, um, so yeah, so no, I mean, we, um, I, I felt the same way though, 100%. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, TJ Finch, man, that guy's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. He's, he's just, he's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, he's, uh, it, that's the crazy thing with TJ. It's just, he, you know, no matter what, I mean, I, you know, he's going to get one. Right. Right. Um, just he, he's just so he's so good with his stick, and he just he, he wins every 50 50 battle. I mean, he's, he's he, he played you know growing up, he played played in college. I mean, he's just he is grand. He's four years old now. He has you know six kids. Oh wow! But, I mean, he's but yeah. So but but I mean, he's just he's so smart. He's so fun to play with, man. Yeah, he really is. T tell me about your goaltender, Taryn and Reed. Is he your regular goaltender now? In regular action in D four. I wish, man. Mm. I do. Um, but uh, but no. So we, I remember we we ended up uh, we played the the Red Dragons in like our, our, our second game, 
And, um, you know, there's about five or six of us on our D4 team. Um, so we, we, this is basically our first year. Oh. Um, and so I remember when we played them, we, we played, the, it was like a three to one score. Mm-hmm. And we, we didn't score the three goals until, you know, like the third period. Oh. And Kieran just stood on his head. Oh, geez. Um, it was one of those, you know, and just, yeah, I mean, I remember we were talking afterwards. It's like, that, that kid's good. Yeah. That kid's really good. Right. Um, and, you know, I mean, like, granted, you know, I, I, I know that they, they've struggled a little bit, you know, uh, but that's just, that, that's what we were thinking. Well, once I remember, you know, he subbed for us once um, after that, and we, we were like, yeah, we, we need to pick him up. Oh. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, no, he, he, was, he was fantastic. Um, I mean, th- there wasn't a single game this week where, you know, he, he, was, he was shaky at all. He was just, he was a brick wall. Yeah. Um, and by the time we, we got to the tournament, I mean, just the confidence we had with him and the confidence he played with, I mean, he was just, he, he's fantastic, man. Um, that, yeah, great, man. That's cool. So what'd you all, what'd you all win? Some swag? Oh, dude, so we got free hats. Oh, okay. Which is, that, that's, that was, you know, yeah, free hats. Um, that, that's what I was most excited about. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. We also got those napper bags and sandals. Uh, the, the napper bags are awesome. They're oh. really nice. Oh, okay. That's, so. that's cool. Man, you've kind of taken deck by storm. Last year was actually your first year playing, though, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I played for, uh, I, I played like seven or eight games of D5. I ended up, uh, I, I tore up, uh, I, I tore like my MCL, my meniscus, mm. in my, uh, yeah, so I, I ended up only playing playing a few games. So I, I played last year, um, but this is kind of like, this is my first full season. Okay. Um, so yeah, but I love it. That's, that's part of the reason why, I mean, I, I try to sub as many games as I can. Um, mm. It's just, it's a great atmosphere. It's so much fun. Yeah, right. Yeah, just personally for me playing with you a few times, man, you're a great teammate and you battle every shift, man. I, I, you're not one of those I got to worry about that you didn't give 100% even as a sub, so. Oh, um, no, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, I mean, you, you grew up playing playing sports and, and being competitive. I mean, it's just, and that's one of the most fun things about it. You know, it gives you an outlet to where, I mean, especially the way it's set up, you know, where you keep track of stats. You know, every every team's pretty good. Um you know, it just it gives you the outlet to, to be competitive, which uh, as an adult, you know, you don't get a lot of. Oh yeah, no, yeah, for sure, yeah, most definitely, yeah. Well, man, I you have any questions for our guest? All right, <laughs> okay, man, Pete. Yeah, I appreciate you answering and getting uh, some of your feedback there from the attorney and all that. So, you, any uh, any other uh, things intrigued you about the attorney besides your team that you saw or noticed? Are you our D five tournament or just overall? Just overall, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's just uh, that was just an absolute blast. I mean, yeah. just even even not playing. I mean, that, that's what I was, you know, I was talking to to like Lee. I was talking to a few guys. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like if we got beaten like the semifinals, it was like I still like my my outlook on the weekend. It it, it wouldn't have changed. It was just, yeah. I mean, the atmosphere, the the teams that you, you get to see in the higher levels. It's just it was it was just a great great experience. Yeah, well, that's cool, man. I was, uh, yeah, I was glad. I think a lot of people are glad to see you win. You guys have the coolest jerseys around now. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's all bad, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. So. All right. Well, that's cool. I'll, I'll let you go, but I just I appreciate you calling, and yeah, best of luck the rest of the year with you. Hopefully, we'll get you to sub a few more times with us. So. Oh yeah, no, I'd love to. So no, no, thanks for having me, fellas. I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. All right, take care, Peyton. So yeah, you guys have a good night. All right, you too, me buddy. Too. Bye. That was the quality of your call. No well, four That's stars. Fantastic. The first person ever take my call on Facebook Messenger, Peyton Pizzari. Thanks, Peyton. Yeah, Peyton's gonna be a way better star than Gomi and Jordan Esco. Because Peyton, Peyton has, has good like interview skills. He does. And he brings the energy, man. He yeah. brings the same energy that he brings to the games, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I love that guy. He's yeah. just always like never, never yeah. bummed, never tired, never. Yeah. yeah. Just go, go, go. All right. So let's see a recap of the tourney. Uh, what's the best food you had there, or saw? Or... I gotta go with Stacy's Walkie Tacos. Stacy's Walkie Tacos. <laughs> All right. By you. Teriyaki Madness mm-hmm. and Stacy's Tacos right there too. Uh, yeah. State. Yeah, Teriyaki Madness. That's an interesting that home good. location, though. 
down State Street. Then the tobacco shop. That's interesting. Yeah. Best fight? Uh, Dolby. Dolby. Yes, it was Dolby, Dolby against the king. <laughs> I couldn't believe oh what I was seeing gosh. from it. I was like, is that really? It awesome? was awesome. As a scorekeeper, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, going, two legends is going at it. Pound mm. for pound for pound. Yeah, yeah, there was actual, like, downward blows. And then it with was... the knee. Dolby yeah. got a knee into it. Yeah. It was, and you know it's fucked up when Joe Dare runs down to try to break it Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, uh, man. Yeah. I always thought Dolby was, like, a, just a laid-back dude. You, we you rang know? off his belly mints the last night. Well, I know, but I'd never seen a fight out of him. And then that, I was like, what? I like it. Like, the I hair like what, came out like and everything. <laughs> I like what you said at the end when you came back and finished. You'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. Now I'm 25 minutes behind right. because of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah, did like the, uh, maybe I guess we say best jerseys. I just want to say I like the Spartans because it said the return on it. I don't know if you noticed. I didn't notice that. That's pretty that. cool. It said the return. That was pretty neat. Oh, maybe I did. It was yeah. like a, like in the thing. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. That Chicago I, team that had like the vest looking yeah. jerseys. It was kind of funny. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I don't have much of a favorite. It didn't seem like anybody really did anything different. No. Everybody's kind of got their franchise base now kind of yeah. deal going so it like, seems like last dead. summer like that was kind of the thing to see how cool you could get your jerseys yeah. and then this year just kind of yeah guess no one wins the heilman award this year nope uh the best game you saw oh man there was i don't know all of them that i saw were awesome i'm the young americans yeah i was gonna say that you yeah. know, the young americans game was just wild because even in that overtime Young Americans had a real good chance to even score there, remember? Mm -hmm. Two good chances. Unfortunately, the ball bounced the other way for them. He always went right down to score, but yeah. that's deck hockey. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had a chance down there to win. Fortunately, he didn't. And for the always, fortunately for them, they did. So. And I love how many I mean, maybe it was because of parents and grandparents and stuff, but how many people were watching that game? Yeah. And that wasn't even the championship. That was just lined with people. Right. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. The kids deserve it. Mm hmm. So, Maybe. yeah. I guess that's all we got. I promise to keep it short. I lied. You're under half an hour. That's probably a record. Yeah. Make sure to check out our uh, previous video with the Anakin. That's a, <laughs> that was funny. That's a, <laughs> okay. Thanks to our guest, Paint Bazaar. Now you're going to have to tag him and then get his picture. Yeah. Thanks, Paint. other assholes that don't answer me. We should call Pat. Tell He's me. probably like taking people to the airport, right? Probably. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, yeah, speaking of Pat, thanks to Pat and Sam and Nick and Savannah for and Matt and Shelby for all their hospitality. Mm -hmm. For having the best weekend of the year. For spending Even an entire year buckets. setting up the best weekend of the year. Yes. Yeah. And thank you to the Smiths for hosting us in their tent. Mm -hmm. And Stacy for and the Stacey. tacos. Until then, that's it till next year. Under the traffic lights. <laughs>